Hi, I'm Adam Burrow, Barry and Makeup Ambassador, and I'm going to do a bright lip here on Caroline while giving you some little tips along the way. There's lots of different finishes to lipsticks. You've got matte, creamy, glossy, sheer, but I'm going to give you some simple tips that are good to know when applying your lipstick. If you're not quite brave enough to wear a bright lip paint, then a bright lip gloss is a great place to start. So you still get the colour, but it's nice and sheer. Before applying any colour to your lips, the first and most important step is to make sure that your lips are smooth and moisturised. So a good tip is to use a soft toothbrush or a wet flannel to wipe away any dry or flaky bits so that the lipstick goes on nice and smooth. I think what most people want out of their lipstick is one that's going to last a long time. So I start by just dusting some powder over the mouth. And then using the lip liner in dark pink, I'm going to colour in the whole lip. Obviously this is for a defined strong lip, but if you just want something more of a stain, then you can skip the lip liner and just using your finger, just press the colour over your lips so it's more of a stain. Using the lip liner is going to really work that colour into the lips and give a nice defined edge and it's also going to stop the lipstick from running outside of your lips. Just open your mouth a little wider, you can get it right in the corner so that the liner goes all the way. And obviously getting a nice defined edge takes practice and if you've made any little mistakes you can use a small cotton bud just to smooth out that edge. Now for a super bright lip I'm going to use shocking pink and you can apply it straight from the bullet like that or I prefer to use a brush just because you get a much more precise application. To get it nice and precise you've used a brush and then just at the end if you just want to amp it up that little bit more you can use it straight from the package. Just come to the middle area. Oh, it's super bright. Just to make sure that that lip line is blending with the lipstick, I'm just going to go over the edge and blend it in. And as it's slightly darker than the lip colour, it's going to give the impression of slightly fuller lips too. So just to make sure that that edge is really defined, I'm using a little bit of the foundation on a tiny brush covering any imperfections. So that it's really sharp. And that's how to wear a super bright lip. If it's a little bit too much for you, you can always wear ultra bright moisturising lip colour, which is a similar bright pink, but it's just a little bit sheerer and really moisturising.